My name is Ferris Musa, and we are here today with Mr. Saeed Musa for an interview for Aging and Society. All right, Mr. Musa, I'm going to ask you a basic overview of questions. So, where were you born? I'm Saeed Musa. I was born in 1952 uh, in a small town north of Jerusalem called Jenin. And your uh, education status? Middle school and high school in Jordan, and I came to Chicago right after high school. Um, what is your, your marriage history? Believe it or not, my marriage was arranged marriage. And it's working fine. So far, 28 years and counting. Tell me a little bit about your uh, occupational history. Um, I have a background uh, as a sous chef. I worked in Chicago for hotels like the Hilton and the Hyatt Regency. And uh, I would like to add that uh, I started from the bottom, which is a dishwasher, and worked my way up. And how about your social class? As in middle, uh, lower, middle, or upper class? When you were born, what class were you born into? Lower class, I would say, and the reason why? Because uh, we were refugees. Uh, Mom and dad were refugees, but uh, uh, we were lucky and not to stay uh, refugees for a long time. How many places have you lived? Uh, of, course, Janine, of course you said Janine in the Middle East, but uh, yes, places in America? Uh, Chicago. Okay. How long have you been living in your current home and what are your living arrangements? Do you own a house, an apartment? Yes, uh, I do own uh, a house that we live in. And Mr. Musa, who do you live with? I live with my uh, entire family except my oldest daughter who is married and lives in Jersey. Sounds great. Your, your significant influences in your life. Basically, which leads to my next question is, who impacted your life the most? Who was your greatest influence as you were growing up? My father. Father? Yes. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? Is there anything he taught you? He taught me how to work hard. And has that influence changed? Right now, currently, who is your biggest influence? Is it still your father? My father, and uh, I had to go back to Chicago, and uh, I remember a couple of the great chefs I work under. And have you ever felt discriminated against because of your age, gender, or race? In the past, yes, I have. Because uh, the way you look or uh, you speak with an accent, you know, people will treat you differently. All right, my next question is about legacy. Um, when you pass, we all know death is inevitable, and when you pass, God forbid, anytime soon, how would you want your family and friends to, to remember you? By doing the things that I like to do, by helping others, by making a difference. Mr. Musa, when you were young, what did you expect your life to be like? Did you ever think that your life would be where it is now? No. Like achieving uh, middle class success, living the American dream. Did you ever see it coming as a child when you were when you were living in poverty? No. That's an example. We, we have a theory in aging and society. It's called the cumulative disadvantage theory. Basically the whole notion of the rich get richer while the poor get poorer. I feel like you have contradicted that theory. That theory doesn't apply to you. You were born with close to nothing and you've achieved um, success. Would you call it success? Oh yes, I would definitely call it success. And we also have um, a theory that we've discussed in class. It's called the activity theory. And basically that theory states that um, as you age, the more activity you engage in, um, it, it will enhance your life, the greater quality of life you will have. And uh, my next question to you is, um, if you would tell me what a typical day or a week looks like for you. Do, you, do you think the activity theory applies to you? Do you go out and work and stay engaged? And do you see that benefit that it gives you to your health? Oh yes, definitely. Uh, I go to work every day, seven days a week. Well, I might not do all the physical work, but I like to be the first one to open the door, make sure everything is ready for the employees. And also we have um, a theory that we've discussed in class, it's called the disengagement theory. And that states that when an individual ages, they begin to disengage from, from uh, social ties, they get very isolated. In your social networks, how much time do you spend interacting with others? I know you run a business, I'm sure you interact with employees and, 
and um, customers and all that. How does that influence um, your life and your behaviors and does that enhance your life? Of course, of course. It really gives me a great deal of satisfaction when we uh, work with other people and uh, business neighbors to uh, help out the community and to volunteer and donate food for different entities. Uh, it's a great feeling. On a scale of one to 10, 10 being the most satisfied, what would you rate your life? Are you satisfied with your life? Are you satisfied with your aging process? Yes, I am. I would, uh, I would uh, say seven. Is there anything that would make your life improve? Oh uh, yes, yes. Uh, everything could be uh, improved. Uh, I need to do more for the people who stood by me all these years. And finally, what is your attitude towards aging? I'm, I'm, I'm content with it. Um, I'm blessed with good genes, so I really don't feel uh, my age. Do younger people treat you differently because you're older? Do you, do you sense that discrimination yet, or is that a little yeah, bit too early? Yeah, a few places, yeah. Like I go to McDonald's and they charge me senior citizen for coffee, which I don't <laughs> 54 cents you know, instead of 107. All right, Saeed Musa, thank you very much thank for you. your time. Thank you very you much. You have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.